Halo 5 Guardians is not very far away at all, in fact it's just over a week now till you guys will have it in your hands and 343 Industries have posted some information pertaining to the arena rankings in the game, how matchmaking will work and what will get you smacked with the almighty Banhammer. And according to 343, Arena will contain a competitive skill rating or CSR system which will quote, ensure high quality matches between players of equal skill per playlist. So you join a particular playlist and then you'll take part in various placement matches before earning your CSR. Once 10 game sessions are completed, you will then be placed into one of 7 CSR ranks based on your performance. And the rankings are going to be fairly familiar to anyone who's really been in any sort of ranking system on a multiplayer game. Bronze, Silver, Gold, Platinum, Diamond, Onyx and then Champion. And the only way to increase your rank is by winning on these team orientated playlists. And losing, your ga losing game sorry, will decrease your rank. It will quote, never drop down an entire rank from losing. Now apparently match quality is going to be priority one in Arena. And the system will try its best to find players at the exact same CSR. Now, assuming enough players are not available, 343 will quote very slowly open up this limitation and look for players close to the same skill level. Now, joining a match in progress is disabled for arena matchmaking, but it will still be available through custom games and the Warzone. And they also went on to say that those who quit out of the game will lose and forfeit any rec points XP and will suffer a temporary cooldown penalty in arena matchmaking. And I'm going to guess this is to discourage rage quitting. I don't know if they're going to be able to differentiate between an actual you pressing quit and your internet falling over, but I'm going to assume that they will, because obviously getting punished for your internet being a bit dicey is not exactly fair. So I would imagine they do have some sort of system in place for that, but I could be wrong. Now... When speaking of cooldowns, 343 went on to say that the game is quote, engineered to detect and track bad behaviour in all arena playlists. And here's where the banhammer comes into play and how you can avoid it. You can not do the following, quitting matches, betrayals or qu team killing, idling, AFK, intentional suicides and excessive disconnects. And those who quote, repeatedly engage in negative behaviour will receive a ban and be prevented from entering matchmaking. And naturally, the duration of each ban is dependent on the offence, and the more infractions you get, the more severe the punishment. And the last thing they touched on was the arena's competitive feature by the name of Seasons, which will provide you with an opportunity cha to challenge yourselves, apparently, and earn monthly rewards. And 343 said, quote, when Seasons debuts later this year, your CSR in certain playlists will be reset and you will play your ma placement matches again. You get a fresh start each month to try to prove yourself in select seasonal arena playlists. This gives you a chance to top your performance from last season and see how high of a rank you can achieve. Seasons will last for a month and anyone who earns a CSR in a seasonal playlist will earn cosmetic rewards to commemorate the season. Now the entire post is linked in the description below this video and gives a bit more detail on the topics I've touched on but I've covered what I would feel are the key points but if you want to read the full post it is linked in the description below this video. Now I'm going to be honest I've played a few Halo games but as a person who's not overly into FPS as of course not my usual cup of tea it's a very good series of course just not really my thing most of the time. I will probably be taking a look at Halo 5 because, well, why wouldn't I? It's one of the biggest releases of the year, but it means I can't really offer any opinions on these changes to the multiplayer, and when I do play Halo 5 it will most likely just be the single player only. Regardless of all that, what do you think of these rules and implementations and the construction of the multiplayer, how much making works and so on? I'd love to hear some thoughts from seasoned Halo players. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.